back. <laughs> I don't know what, what happened there. Um, I think my dog pulled out the Ethernet cord. <laughs> and then it wouldn't um, start a new broadcast. But here we are. Finally got it started. Um, so what we're talking about. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like, would like to be diagnosed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to continue from there? <laughs> <laughs> and if y'all have any comments and questions for us, please leave them. Hopefully we see them and there's no other technical difficulties. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna comment then we're back. Okay. <laughs> so I was diagnosed at three, and I, the earliest memory I have is my mom taking to get my brain scan. And I don't really remember, you know, I didn't know what was going on. I was just playing with this free little Willie doll. It's probably our internet went bad. That's probably what happened. And I was just like, why are you crying? I was just like, oh, mm -hmm. that was probably my earliest memory, but as I got a little bit older, like around three or four, my dad told me, hey, you know, you just have a different stack of cards than most people have. You're going to struggle some on common things that most people don't have any trouble with, and you're just going to work harder just to equal up to them. But that's going to be okay. You're also going to have a lot of strengths that most people don't have. That you know you can easily get by with. That they need to like really work hard on. And we're going to work on both those. We're going to work on you know finding your strengths, and work on as well as you know the common things that you might struggle with. You know like handwriting and you know. Working on eye contact and social cues, which I still struggled today, but as a mm -hmm. when I was three. But I remember when I, as I got older, you know, at the time I was called Asperger's, and I was just like, if I ever felt weird or unique, I was like, oh, it just must be autism or Asperger's, whatever. I didn't really, you know, do my own research on it until maybe like three years ago. When I started going to school, and you know, to get uh, a master's in social work, when people started talking about it, I was like, "Oh, this is autism. This is autism related." Oh, I just knew, like, "Oh, I'm autistic." Before that, I was like, "Oh, autistic just means that you know, fine hand motor control for me personally, but some others don't have that." And I was like, "You know, I'm socially awkward. That's all I knew about it before beforehand." I didn't really know much about the sensory thing or the food pickiness and all the other strengths and all that. And so it was just like, kind of like I just kind of grew into it, really. I didn't know, never, I guess you could say I could never knew what it was not to have autism because like I learned that when I was age three or something. So... It was like, oh, you know, my parents were saying that's your autism or whatever. Or I'll say it to myself, even though I didn't really know what it truly meant. So I would use that as an excuse on a lot of things when I shouldn't have because I didn't really understand it. But that's really what it was in regards to, like, learning about it. I remember, like... I would call Osbergers hangy burgers because I would imagine like hamburgers hanging from the ceiling. That's like, the burgers part. <laughs> um, yeah, I was misdiagnosed with ADD and OCD at like 13 and then properly diagnosed with um Asperger's and I think it was the last year of that so I actually like it officially says Asperger's slash ASD because it was that year they were switching the the label that was that's what must be confusing yeah so that was really confusing I'm like why are they getting rid of that what is the difference and it was, that was super confusing for me They're like which one do I have oh it's the right. same thing I'm like but I, I okay 
Right. <laughs> so, um, and I found like most people don't want to know, like they don't do research on what that is. They're like, okay, now I have it. And then um, <laughs> right. they just let people tell them where um, me and my sister, when we were diagnosed, like went and looked into it um, and really wanted to know what, what it meant. Right. And there, I mean, there, there, every, the stuff out there that was good information was like really hard to understand. And like, there was nothing that was like clearly like, this is what autism is. I'm like, just, is it just like something that no one knows what it is? We're just like labeling people with it. Like, it was so weird. And it's so once we were able to like figure out like what the symptoms were, like having hard time transitioning and sensory issues and all that kind of stuff, we like, we just started writing down our experience and then talking to people about like, yeah, this is what it is. I know there's nothing out there that really explains it. And people were like, wow, I've never, I didn't know that. Like that you right. have autism. How do you not know <laughs> that right. you do this? <laughs> I feel like I understand myself more once I talk to more other people who have, you know, similar experiences than actually reading a research article. Mm -hmm. Because it is more confusing and, like, it doesn't, you know, it's written by neurotypical in a more research manner. So it's like, what? Yeah, um, the most common thing I heard is, like, everyone with autism has executive functioning issues. Right. And I'm like, do, do you hear the word that you're saying? Like, nobody knows what that means. Right. And then, so, so many other diagnoses have executive functioning issues. And so when I broke down, like, to me, like, what what executive functioning was i'm like you know what i have trouble with transitions and i have trouble you know and like i made it in layman's terms and explained it that people were like wow i have that exact same thing where like add is like no i don't have that sort of executive functioning i'm like yeah because everyone has executive functioning issues so like <laughs> 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 um and then so it's, it's, it's good, like, it's so strange has, that like, that part of it. Yeah, autism has like a lot of comorbid things. Like you know, people mm -hmm. ADHD have a lot of qualities of autism, mm -hmm. and OCD have you know similarities, and anxiety. And I was trying to tell, explain that to someone. I was like, yeah, it's like a Sunday bar, you know. Mm -hmm. Some people have sprinkles of anxiety. <laughs> Some people have chocolate syrup of OCD qualities. It's just a lot of them combined together. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, we all overlap so much. <laughs> right, that's what's really confusing. Yeah. So you can see where all the misdiagnoses come from, and like how like all that kind of stuff happens, and oh, yeah. um, really unfortunate. Yeah. Like it's crazy. We get people, girls with um, autism, because thinking about we we're so in tune to our senses that we hear and feel and see things that other people don't. So we get misdiagnosed with schizophrenia. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> like. But those sounds are actually happening. You just like aren't paying attention to them. Yeah. Um. The history is like when they were doing research on autism, it was mostly boys. Caucasian. Yeah. And, you know, they didn't have quote unquote lab rats of females or, you know, females of different color and all that. Mm -hmm. And that was the main issue. That's like a big issue is for a lot of mental disabilities is like they'll have usually one gender and color that they can have access to to do lab studies on instead of having, you know, diversity. So yeah. that's you know, a huge flaw that's, you know, becoming, making awareness right now. Yeah. So, and so it's cool seeing groups like yours that has, um, what you wouldn't expect to see in autism. That is like, we're everywhere. Like we're in every race, we're in every age, we're in every gender. <laughs> um, we have people with physical disabilities. We have people of all races. We have people in the LGBT community like we're literally everywhere you can think of <laughs> right um and so like 
there isn't that's why there isn't a stereotypical person with autism like we all have different personalities but we have a lot of similar challenges so it it's very very cool to see more communities popping up that like we right. we right. all have autism but we're all so different in uh, how we live our lives and our identities and um um what we love to do like we're just people like everyone else yeah um like like it wouldn't make sense why autism would just pick one gender or one race or one you know right um one sort of age right it's gonna be everywhere like does anything else just pick one certain area not really so you know i think i'm still learning about other you know diagnoses as well but i feel like Maybe I'm I'm biased because I am active in the autism community specifically. I feel like I see that more so of an autism community the child language, mm-hmm. which is frustrating. Yeah, I've I've noticed that more people are complaining that you know anything with autism uses the super bright, colorful, and 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 all these silly cartoons and right. all these different kid stuff to advertise it um rather than you know to advertising to all groups and like we have an issue like wanting to grow up and seen as mature and seen as adults um and i think especially because when we were younger we told we weren't going to be able to do all the things that we're doing and um we you know we're often told oh we're we act like five years younger than we should. And I'm like, maybe in certain areas, but in other areas, we're so much older than everyone else. Exactly. Like, when we grasp the concept, we grasp it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, that's ridiculous. Sometimes it takes us longer, which is why we're behind sometimes socially. Right. But now I feel like in some areas socially, I'm way ahead of everyone because I did a lot of research in that area. Yeah, it's like, okay, slow down. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, yeah, like, so many people, like, the, like I understood, like, to be nice to people, and that they will be your friend because you are nice, and, like, that took people, like, people who are, who are in their 80s don't know that, like, yeah, <laughs> like, I feel like, in a way, that is, that made me more mature, I don't like gossip, I feel like that makes me more mature, but yet, I'm labeled with, because I'm autistic, and I don't want to be in a romantic relationship or like these other like different kind of areas than I'm I'm younger in and I feel like those kind of things because we're we're different than uh, neurotypicals and have different beliefs you know that doesn't mean that we're immature we have like a different way of looking at things oh just see it oh my goodness <laughs> hopefully she comes back. Yeah, she has this great community for adults on the spectrum that really take us seriously and make our voice important and something we need. Sorry. Yeah, so you have this great community that does make everyone feel like their voice matters, you know. And and I definitely felt like my voice was invalidated so so much so that I went mute. <laughs> um so yeah, it's it's really cool what you're doing. Well, I think it's really cool what you're doing as well. I mean, we autistic adults need to you know bring more awareness. Yeah, we're so happy. You know, I I got to be a part of this with you. Yeah, um, and w- one thing I love about the autistic community is it's very rare I find someone that's like I'm in, that's like I'm in competition with you. It's exactly um, we're in the same field or whatever, but we're it's needed and we're all supporting each other and helping each other out and like the world would be such a much better place if everyone did that and I find that there's such a strength in the autism community um in that way well like my sister's in is an actress and like yeah that's a cutthroat place to be and like all the autistic actors she's met are like excited for each other to get parts and are helping each other and are giving each other advice um and all those kind of things, which you don't see often. It's just, 
like it's, the autism community i feel like is uh, is like that more than other communities and i don't know if it's because we struggled so much or if it's right. made in us but it's just nice that we have that <laughs> right i totally agree I think, like I said, it's because we also, you know, struggle. That we all know what it feels like to be invalidated. Mm-hmm. Like it's exhausting, you know. It's like just to, you know reciprocate it. It's like, uh, it's like let's let's grow together. Mm-hmm. So like, you're right. That is one of the benefits of the autism community that I can agree more. Yeah. So I'm not seeing any questions. So <laughs> sometimes that happens where we don't get um, too much engagement. Don't know what what the difference is. Maybe people are just so interested in listening. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm trying to be positive. <laughs> hey, it could, it could be that engaging, you know? Yeah. Um, so do you have? Um, a message you want everyone to hear before we we sign off. <laughs> Listen to it, autistic adults, really. I yeah. Mean, more so than you know, we're the ones who experience this, you know. Yeah. That's, I, I agree. Any religion, any color, gender, sexuality, all that. We are global, despite what people make it sound like we're out to be, and. You know, we can do anything in a neurotypical can, or it's not even better. Yeah. It's hard to, you know, remember to keep that in mind. Yeah. We just, we want an inclusive world, a validating world, a loving world. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, so we just want to be part of it. Right. Let us join in. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's all we want. <laughs> um, thank you for letting me be a part of this. Yeah, thank you for being on. Yeah. Um, and everyone watching, please go to Unashamed Voices of Autism. If you search it on online or on Facebook, it'll pop up, and I'll put all the links um, on in the description of these videos and on the autism site. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah. <laughs> Stay colorful. Yeah. Bye.